Nestled in the Cheshire countryside lies a farming business steeped in history, making bold moves towards the future. Sat on the outskirts of Chester, on the Eton estate, in Alford village lies Grosvenor Farms, a 5,500 acre concern, milking a large herd of dairy cows. Lee Manor was completed in 2014 to milk and house our growing dairy herd. One of the biggest challenges facing agriculture today is how do we feed a growing world population uh, whilst protecting the natural environment and at the same time with diminishing resources. So new technology is a key part of that process and uh, we need to produce more from less, uh, more food from less land, less water, less energy and that's what this farm is all about. It's about producing more milk with less inputs. Simultaneously uh, improving animal health, comfort and welfare. When we built these barns here, you know, our first question we asked ourselves was what's best for the cow? So starting scratch on a greenfield site, you can design the barn that best fits the cows you have on your farm. We've got high producing Holsteins on this farm and therefore we wanted uh, high welfare, high comfort, uh, an environment in which they could express all their natural behaviour uh, and therefore produce uh, good quality milk. Benefits People are extremely important in our business. We want a farm where people enjoy their work, where we can attract, retain and develop good quality staff. The health and safety of our employees is of paramount importance. Clean, separate changing facilities for women and men, a comfy area to relax, Christmas parties, a turkey each year and inter-estate sports during the summer are just some of the added benefits that make Grosvenor one of the go-to employers. A fully equipped workshop ensures that equipment is well maintained. All machinery is of a high standard. New employees will receive full training until they are competent at the routine procedures. Annual appraisals will give the opportunity to discuss career progression and an action plan will be created including the training needs which will improve competence in areas such as plant operators, foot trimming, fertility through to management training. This is the milking parlour at Lee Manor. It's a 60 store rotary parlour. It's capable of milking about 350 cows an hour. Uh, we milk on it three times a day. We provide milk on a liquid contract to Tesco's, supplying over 60,000 homes a day. We are one of their largest suppliers. Lee Manor is the central cog to Grosvenor Farms. The cows are quietly brought up to the parlour at their own pace, never rushing them with the backing gate behind as a gentle reminder of where they are headed. The cows walk themselves onto the deck, ready to take their nine minute milking rotation. There are four important roles within the milking process. Each member of staff has a pivotal role and are all trained for each position. The first role in the parlour is stripping and foaming. Stripping stimulates the milk let down for the cow so she can be milked comfortably, whilst foaming sanitises the teats, killing any bacteria. The second role in the parlour is wiping, using a fresh cloth each time. Allowing the foam to have a minimum of 20 seconds contact, each teat is then wiped to remove any remains of dirt ready for the clusters to be attached. You'll notice that in each of the areas the members of staff are stood on adjustable floors. This allows each staff member to set the floor to the correct height for them, so they are not having to bend or stretch whilst working, therefore improving their comfort during milking. The third role is attaching the clusters. With the two previous tasks complete, this member of staff is positioned to allow a 90 second gap from the time the cow was first stripped. She will now have naturally released her milk, which will ensure she has no discomfort during the milking process. The fourth and final role in the parlour is the teat dip. After the clusters are automatically removed, each teat is dipped. This is an iodine based solution that helps seal the still exposed end of the teat. Whilst moisturising, it also prevents any infection or abrasions. At this station, the staff member also needs to ensure that the clusters are sat correctly, ready for the next cow. Ensuring that each cow is milked out is pivotal in our milking process, and a display at this station will alert the staff member to any cow that hasn't been fully milked. Once a cow has been milked, she slowly reverses herself off the deck and walks back towards the barn via a walkway that takes her over a lameness detection system. This measures the weight distribution on each foot and is able to spot any potential problems before she heads down through to the footpath. 
At this point, we are able to segregate some of the cows who are in need of foot treatment. All members of staff have the opportunity to become trained in foot trimming, as this is a task that is performed every day on the farm. Safety around our cows is of paramount importance. Escape routes exist all around the farm with the use of squeeze gaps for members of staff to escape should they ever come into trouble with an animal. Two members of the team are responsible for bringing cows to and from the parlour to be milked. It is their responsibility to quietly empty the barn of cows, then to go about the tasks of preparing the barn ready for their return. All the alleyways are cleaned and all muck is removed. The beds are then prepared by removing any muck deposits, then levelled and raked. Beds are regularly topped up to ensure we always maintain a level bed. The water troughs are cleaned on a rotational basis, ensuring that the cleanest water is readily available. Food is prepared with specialist machinery and delivered to the cows fresh each morning. It is also the responsibility of the outside team to regularly push the feed towards the feeding cows. These collars have wireless sensors on them to allow us to detect when cows are in heat as well as health events through data analysis. It monitors our cows on a daily basis and identifies specific types of behaviour such as feeding, rumination and levels of activity. If these deviate from normal behaviour, this will alert us to a possible sign of sickness. Each day we will draw from a report, then our staff members or vet will locate these cows and deal with them appropriately. This information is also continuously sent to us via handheld devices, so that there is never any delay in identifying signs of ill health. Each day we will walk through all our cows while they are happily eating. This gives us the opportunity to examine any potentially sick cows or serve any cows detected in heat, or administer vaccines if required. Edgeley Farm Our dry cow and maternity unit is located at Edgeley Farm, which is close to Lee Manor. Our trained staff oversee the cows, and once she is ready, she will be moved to a quiet area, where she will be continuously monitored. We will ensure that, at this point, the calf is positioned correctly, and will only intervene if the mother becomes stressed during her labour. As your skills and experience develop, opportunities will open up to work at this site. Once the calf is born, she is left with the mother to be cleaned and dried. An electrolyte drink is offered to the cow shortly after calving to rehydrate her, along with some high energy feed. Any information concerning the birth is recorded to ensure that protocol is always followed. It is very important that we milk the cow within the first hour after birth. This ensures that we get the highest quality cholesterol from her. The cholesterol is then tested and transferred into specialist bags, which go through a pasteurisation process. The calf will then be fed within two hours after birth with high quality cholesterol containing vital antibodies, essential for protecting against disease in its early life. Grange Farm All calves are taken to Grange Farm, our specialist young stock rearing unit. They are quickly moved into group pens where an automated milk machine distributes the exact quantity of milk the calf requires for healthy growth. The calves are housed in light airy buildings on a deep bed of straw where they have access to concentrates which encourage them to go on to solid feeds. Once weaned, the heifer calves progress from a straw concentrate diet onto a forage based diet. The bull calves and crossbreed calves are sold. As with the cows, we continually monitor the heifers for health and growth rates. All our handling facilities have been designed with the safety of people and stock in mind, with easy escape routes and gates separating the operators. Specialist crushes are designed to restrain the cattle safely. Technology plays a big part in the young stock rearing, and the use of automated systems and linked software ensures for accurate data capture. Loading cattle into trailers can always be hazardous, so a specialist loading bay has been designed to remove the risk of injury. The heifers will leave Grange in calf to be taken to Edgeley where they will calve and then ultimately join the herd at Lee Manor. Environmentally aware. We manage 12% of our land to support biodiversity and improve natural habitats. It is our aim to have the lowest carbon footprint with a real focus on resource efficiency. The solar panels on our barn roofs provide all of the energy that the farm needs. Our slurry recycling system takes all of the waste that is scraped out of the barns and separates out the sand for reuse. 
The fibre is extracted and used as a soil conditioner, which increases the organic loading and gives good soil health. The remaining liquid is a nutrient-rich fertiliser, which is held in reservoirs until it is applied to our growing crops in the spring, significantly reducing the need for artificial fertilisers. Our core values of integrity, trust and respect run through the core of all Grosvenor businesses. Our vision is to be the best UK producer of milk and grains whilst farming in an environmentally and socially sustainable way and we hope that this video has given you an insight into this. Thank you for watching.